All right, welcome back, folks. Now we're going to talk about abstraction, one of the big ideas of the CS Principles course and the big idea of this course. Really, if you actually asked any of the instructors, summarize the singular idea that is the biggest idea in this course, it is abstraction. So let's talk about that in some detail. So we're going to talk about abstraction and there the two definitions, specifically now detail removal. So there are two definitions of abstraction that we use in computer science often. One is detail removal. And the idea from 10 miles up of detail removal is you want to remove the things that aren't important to what you're talking about. If I tell you a joke, I'm going to take only the salient parts of the joke and tell them to you. I'm not going to say, so Bob walked down the street. Bob is actually a 43-year-old middle-aged person from Kansas. Kind of has, he parts his hair on the side. He has a comb. No, I don't tell you all the details. I just say a guy walks into a bar. I don't say Bob walks into the bar with all that detail. So that's the removal that we talked about. There's also generalization, and generalization says, I'm going to look at multiple copies of things, and I have four different solutions, and I can actually create one master solution that can solve all those problems. And the example we often use for that is, you've seen the screwdrivers with removable heads? Those removable heads removed 10 different screwdrivers. I now have one screwdriver handle that it perfectly fits my hand, and there's removable tips for them. So that's the idea of, of generalization, where I generalize the problem of 10 different screws into one screwdriver with removable tips. And that tip is the input to the, to the screwdriver, if you will. Okay? So that's the idea. This beautiful picture of abstraction from, from uh, Matisse is just another way to think about it. Here's a person with just a couple of paper cuts. Pa you know, it's, a, it's a collage. Uh, and that looks like a person, a beautiful uh, uh, image of that, and without any of the detail of the skin tone or the, or the particular nails or the hair color, any of that. Okay? So, detail removal. This particular image is a delightful one because this image talks about a map. And we, many of us have used mapping software to get from A to B. And what this does, this is some work from my colleague Manish Agarwala of Berkeley. And what he said is he looked at the example that many artists had drawn for wedding maps. If you've ever had a chance to see a wedding map, it's basically very few lines that highlight where you are, where the airport is, where the train station is, and where the wedding happens to be. And they don't show all the lines. It's kind of like somebody just to sketch a couple of lines. If you've ever drawn a map for a friend, you don't draw all the lines of the city, you draw the lines that matter. And they might draw key points of interest, gas stations, you know, this is where you cross the school, pass the school, or something like this. So things that matter. So what he's done in a system called Line Drive is he took, on the left is an image of the normal Google map. Then what the software does is select certain roads in their own rendering of it, and then when it's all done, have a result. The picture on the right you see is a beautiful picture of all the detail that is removed that you don't need. And this, is, this brings up a really important meta point, which is not all abstraction is, has, has purely beneficial results. There is a downside to this, which is what if you're using the map on the far right and you get off road, and you get off in one of those muddy areas that has, has no detail, then the Google map would have actually been better. But for the majority cases, when you just need to care about the key lines and the key turns to make, the abstraction is better. So there's always a trade-off you have when you, when you take detail away. Sometimes that detail had important information that you needed in some cases. So here's another example of detail removal. Um, here's a, by the way, the, the image we show is beautiful. It's, a, it's the image of the London Underground. This is a 1928 picture of the, of the actual pretty accurate image of the London Underground. And then designer Harry Beck, um, some years later, decided to redo that illustration. And what he did was he straightened the roads, he put the stops of the train stops at equal spacing, and that's now what persists today. If you have most train maps, New York City, Bay Area, and California are this, this simplified design, the abstract version of the map. It's not the exact tweak and turn of where the, the train had to actually pass and go around a sewer system. It is a pretty much straight line. And so, again, there's a downside, which is you might think that the stops are equally spaced. They're not. And so you say, well, what's the timing for the first stop? OK, that's time. Now I can take a nap because I'm 10 stops in. I'm going to take a nine-minute nap. Well, it turns out that the stops are now tighter, and you miss your stop because you did a wrong assumption about the accuracy of that. So it should probably have a caveat saying this is an abstract view and not perfectly accurate. But for the most part, this is what the transit systems have used as the abstract maps. So how we use that in software is often you're trying to do a simulation or a game. And you don't, try, you don't need to have every single aspect of the simulation recorded. So for example, if you want to do a simulation of traffic, 
Would you start to 3D model every car? And let's download the database of all the 3D models of cars, and let's have an average height distribution of every, each person in those cars. And who bought, you know, tall people buy that kind of car. Which, no, nobody does that. If you want to do traffic, all you need is really the XY point, look, taken from above, from the bird's eye view, of where each car is. The center of mass is all you actually care about that car, right? And if there's a lot of dots together, that means a lot of these cars are trying to get through, say, a tunnel. Well. That is an abstraction. You've removed the detail of the car, the person, what the person was wearing, what the thoughts they had. All those things might matter in some other simulation. But in, the, in our work to just model traffic, we only care about the x, y coordinates. So in some sense, that is removal of all that detail to just focus on x, y points and now doing center of masses and where the dots are high frequencies or high density. That's where there's traffic. And then you can share that result with you, the person who needs to know that data. So in summary, abstraction is focusing on the essence. Whatever problem you have, you say, what do I really need to know? If it's a joke, I need to figure out what's the humor points, what's the beats that you have in your, your story. If you're summarizing a pitch for Steven Spielberg that you saw in the elevator, you need to summarize your screenplay, which might be 200 pages, into two or three sentences. OK, it's a guy and a girl, and they're on a boat, and the boat hits an iceberg and goes down. Oh, I'm sorry, I gave, I gave away the Titanic, didn't I? But the point is, that's how you pitch this story to, oh, I like the idea. Tell me more about this. And then he'll go into more detail. But the pitch is about the abstract view of that. So it's really in computer science about thinking about what you really need and what you care about and pulling all of it away. Okay? Um, and here's the important, the last bullet here, which is I, I share here, is that often you, the computer scientist or the computing scientist, don't know what's important to, to take away from that model. That model has a ton of detail. And you are the person who's written the code to do the programming and the simulation in the game. But you not, may not be the best person to make the choice of what to leave out. And so you bring in experts to make that choice. And so that's a really important point that you know, we think that we're, we can solve the world's problems. And often we can. But the experts in the domain have to be brought in to figure out how to do the abstract thinking to figure out what to leave out. All right? We'll see you at the next video, folks. Thanks again.